something really simple that I'm doing and I'm surprised that I have not like done this way bigger going into 2021 but it's never too late um, so I had some distractions in my life going into this year and really the last year of my life and I didn't view those things as distractions um, but once I had the clarity I really dug within and rediscovered my own strength and having the power that I do and play the choose yourself um, so with that being said, I'm simply making a very simple board. This isn't my typical vision board. I had, don't have any pictures or anything like that, but I do know what I want. I do know the direction that I want to go in. So I'm really excited to just like come up with some categories, write each month down is basically what I've done. It is just what I want to see happen, what I believe truly will happen. So I have three categories. I have self. Um, that's one. I have career slash money. That's two. And then I have business slash passion. That's three. And I put business and passion together because for me, there is no passion without business. There is no business without passion. Um, those go hand in hand for me. I don't do anything that my heart is not in. Um, and then career with money because my main source of income is still my full time medical assistant job. Um, so yeah, I just have some goals and I want to improve some relationships within myself. I want to improve my relationships with money. I want to improve my relationship with my business. So yeah, I'm really excited and it's really awesome to like find yourself again, you know, to choose yourself over all the chaos and noise that life can bring. So I want to challenge you guys to join me in doing this. Okay y'all, so it's really, really simple. I literally just have a very cheap one dollar board from Dollar General. No, Dollar Tree, y'all. Literally everything is very much dollar. I spend too many dollars in there. I always get caught up on that gimmick of everything being a dollar. And it is a dollar, but like, ooh, do I really need all those things? No, but anyways. <laughs> so it's just a board like this. You don't have to know everything for each month, but I think it is really powerful to just write things down affirm yourself that these things can happen for you um so so far for june and july for june i have we're budgeting our checks for the rest of the year studying my upcoming photos because i've been blessed with three weddings in the last two weeks and although they obviously aren't all in june it is important to me that i bring my best game that like i get like essence type type photos okay and then july is about relaxing it's been um, a very fast year, a very blessed year, um, a lot of things that I've had to overcome personally. Um, so July I'm going on a trip with one of my best friends. July is about taking it all in, okay? Um, I don't have anything written for August or September yet, but again, you don't have to know everything specifically for each month. But before, what I will do for those months is before I get there, before those months happen, try to write something out. Um, and for me, it's just really about direction. I think that it's really, really helpful when you have some type of physical thing to look at. Okay, y'all, and the most important part of, for me, for any affirmation I make for myself, any type of goals I set is to sign and date at the bottom, okay? Make that final affirmation, make that final declaration that I can and I will do this. I will see this happen. I will trust my journey, okay? That's the biggest goal is trusting your journey and your time. So anyways, <laughs> I don't have the best signature, but um, what I like to do is just simply write like literally I can do this, I will do this, I will accomplish these things, and I put a little X in a line, and I sign and date it, so. there you have it your board is pretty much done and again you don't have to write something for each month yet um but i think it is important that maybe on like the first day at the beginning of the month or a couple days before that new month starts to just write something down i think it's good to have direction um i'm not someone who really enjoys a strict regimen for anything um it just kind of throws me out of whack and makes me feel like i'm like in like a simulation i guess but <laughs> That's just how I am, but I hope that you guys will join me in doing this. It is really, really nice. Just the space that I've created for myself. Um, these are things that I wrote down going into 2020, some of them. 
um, and some of these things that I've done so far, even the first six months of 2021, I'm amazed by it and I want to be more intentional with even my gratitude. Um, and it's hard to have intentional gratitude if you don't have intentional direction. So um, there's some things that have happened this year that I'm like, wow, like that's amazing. I didn't think, I wasn't even like really thinking for those things to happen, but they have. So yeah. Take your time, have a seat somewhere, even if it's in your car. Um, I have a candle lit, you just, it's just not in the frame. Um, but, you know, this is my favorite space in my home besides the office that I'm working on. Um, just even having this home, y'all, like, it's crazy. So, um, yes, I hope that you'll take the time for yourself today or sometime this week or before June is over. I challenge you to do this before June is over and write down some things for the rest of 2021. I mean, seriously, bet on yourself because you are worth it.